uh, talking about nutrition, talking about what meal to eat before you go to bed. Um, I, every, you know, people talk these days about how, like I said, nutrition, meal time is bullshit. Just, you know, the important thing is how many calories and what macronutrients you eat during the day. You could eat in one meal or two meals or ten meals, it doesn't matter. I still think that's bullshit. I still believe in the way that things have worked for years. And one of them is uh, to eat separate, you know, like six, at least six times a day. And another thing is for a normal person who wakes up in the morning and you know, goes to bed at a normal time at night, to not eat after 1800. So that basically means um, after 1800, just protein, okay? Also, eat a protein meal before you go to bed so your stomach has something to eat during night. Um, and also uh, specifically to eat milk protein before you go to bed because that kind of stays in your stomach and it's slowly digested. It's not like whey protein, for instance, which is really quickly is sucked into your body. And that means that your stomach is empty again uh, in a short amount of time. Because like I said, uh, milk protein will stay with you for a long time. You could go ahead and use a casein protein, which is a protein powder extracted from milk. I recommend uh, that you eat as much normal food as you possibly can, okay? And as few um, like fake foods, as few supplements as possible. So what I myself personally do is I eat uh, one of these of uh, containers of Greek uh, yogurt every single day. It's Greek yogurt, 0% fat and plain, okay? Not unflavored. So that means it's low in the carbs. It's obviously no fat whatsoever. Um, I take a half of this with my pre-workout shake. Okay, that's a protein source for my pre-workout shake. Because like I said, milk protein stays with you longer. So during your workout, you've got something in your stomach and a source of protein in your stomach. And the same thing at night. So I just take the first half during the day and the second half when I go to bed at night. Uh, this is, uh, half of this is 44 grams of protein. So that's just about right for a meal. And um, the thing is, it doesn't taste bad, okay? It doesn't taste bad because it's uh, because it's it's just not bad. I've eaten uh, low carb, low fat or non fat cottage cheese. It tasted terrible, okay. And uh, this stuff you can get by with. However, to make your meal a little bit more pleasant, what I recommend you do is you go ahead and you add some cinnamon. I've heard about cinnamon uh, regulating your blood uh, sugar. I've heard about cinnamon being an antioxidant, I've heard about this uh, doing all kinds of great stuff. Whether you believe that or not, the fact of the matter is uh, it doesn't hurt you, okay? This is not sugar or something, and it does taste good, okay? And maybe it does have some other beneficial effects, but the important thing is it makes your, your meal taste a little bit better. I knew, for instance, a guy, he uh, lost a lot of weight. One of the things he ate was um, some kind of unflavored milk product with honey put into it. Everybody knows honey is very high in sugar. So that was not exactly helping him. You could eat that once in a while, maybe in the morning when you can have a little bit more sugar, but in general, like I said, especially at night, try to stay away from the sugar. So that's why I just use uh, cinnamon. Basically, all I do is just spread it out, just cover it up with, um, cover up my meal, my uh, yogurt with cinnamon and kind of mix it up. It gives it a little bit of color, it gives it a little bit of a taste. And like I said, it just makes it more of a pleasant experience. Um, yeah, I can even just smell this here, okay? So like I said, this is definitely for somebody on a diet, this is something to look forward to at night. Instead of sitting there eating ice cream, you could mix your Greek yogurt with uh, cinnamon and eat that. Um, like I said, a lot of people talk that meal timing isn't, doesn't work, that it's bullshit, but the fact of the matter is I've noticed if I don't eat anything at night, that I'm just absolutely starving in the morning. I'm like, what did I do to my body all night, okay? I must have been in a catabolic state. Another thing is if I eat at night, like, you know, even if it's something light, like let's just say popcorn or something, uh, not just a massive junk meal, but just, like I said, something relatively light like popcorn, I'll feel it in the next day. I'll have like an anti-indigestion. So the fact is, like I said, just stay, my recommendation with pure protein, specifically, if it's possible, stay with um, some kind of milk protein for your last meal. And if you have to, for some reason, you're on the move, or you're visiting people, you could, what I do is I take a shaker cup with some casein, some milk-based uh, protein powder in it, and I just mix it with water. But like I said, if I actually have the opportunity to reach into my refrigerator and grab the yogurt, that's what I do. It's just when I'm out and about, then yeah, a supplement is better than anything, uh, better than nothing, okay? But uh, in general, stick with the milk protein.